Hi there, my name is Dr. Todd Austin from Austin Family Chiropractic in Verdon, Illinois. And today I'm going to talk to you about some additional tips for sinus health when doing the Neomed sinus rinse. Now, back in 2010, I shot a video about how to do the Neomed sinus rinse. Uh, since that time, I've learned some different things, so these are just some tips to kind of update that information if you've already seen my how to perform the needle med sinus rinse video. So back then I talked about my secret ingredient being betadine. That has changed and recently I've learned some things and my secret ingredient, um, the betadine, has been replaced with my new secret ingredient which is the 1100 parts per million colloidal silver. really does the same thing, but the colloidal silver is totally safe to swallow, whereas the betadine, we really would not want to be swallowing that. So that's why we use the colloidal silver. Now we're still going to use the distilled water. The recommendations are that we fill it up to the line, which is 8 ounces exactly. Um, we also want to use one of the little um, Neomed sinus rinse packets that comes with the kit. So, now, some, some other things that I'll tell you. Now, when I first did that video, um, the information I had was let's try to get half the bottle through from the right nostril, through the sinus cavities and out the left nostril. Let's get the other half of the bottle, or four ounces each way, through the left side and out the right. Now, since that time, like I said, learned some new things. So, you know, it's perfectly okay if you're one of these patients that says, oh my God, you know, I hate getting water up my nose. I feel like I'm getting waterboarded or something. I really can't stand doing that. Um, so it's perfectly okay if we don't aim to get the whole bottle through. So at this point, you know, if we, if we just get a little bit through the one side, just enough that it, a little bit comes out, I and mean, even just like half an ounce would be sufficient, and then if we go up the left and get at least half an ounce out the right side, that should be sufficient too. You know, so if you are a person who has time constraints, you really don't feel like spending five or six minutes a day doing the sinus rinse, then for you, you know, we can just take a shortcut and do that. Just get a little bit through each nostril and we'll consider it a success. Now the other thing we can do is we can make this a little more concentrated. So instead of filling the distilled water all the way up to the 8 ounce mark, we can just put about 6 or 7 ounces of distilled water in. We're still going to put an entire saline packet. Uh, we're still going to put 8 to 10 um, drops of our 1100 parts per million colloidal silver. So that's another thing we can do is just make the concentration a little more concentrated. Now another thing we can do with the Neomed Sinus Rinse Kit is, you know, I had talked about initially that we want to warm up the water. Now, ideally, we do want to warm up the water because it's going to be more comfortable as it's going through our nostrils and through our sinus cavities versus if we don't warm it up, I mean, there's about a 20 degree temperature difference there. That's kind of like going to a pool that's not heated and, you know, we start out by sticking our toes in and then we kind of work all the way up to the ankle then all the way up to the knee and then we kind of jump in and the rest of us gets cold. So with the Neomed Sinus Rinse, if you don't want to warm up the water, that's fine. It's just that when we first get the water up there into the sinus cavities, uh, it is going to feel a little cold because of the temperature differential, but then once we get the first little bit through, I mean, it should feel pretty normal. It should be, feel pretty comfortable. So like I said, if you're in a hurry and you don't want to microwave it for three minutes or you know, all those things, and you, you definitely can save some time by not warming up the water first. Personally, I prefer the water warmed up myself, but that, you know, that's just me and I allot the time necessary to do that. So just a few tips in, in summary. I'm using the colloidal silver now, the 1100 parts per million colloidal silver as my secret ingredient that replaces the betadine, which I talked about in my previous video. And then a couple of tips, we can get the water more concentrated, the solution more concentrated by putting only 6 or 7 ounces in instead of 8. And then the other tip is that we don't have to get the whole 4 ounces through either side, just you know, a little bit each way is fine. 
And if you don't want to take the time to warm up the water, then you can definitely use the water, uh, the distilled water at room temperature. So those are my updated tips for performing the Neil Med sinus rinse as of March 2012. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed my other sinus health videos. And please feel free to email me with any questions you might have. My email is below, draustin at royale.net. Thank you for joining me. Have a terrific day. And, of course, happy sinus rinsing.